right, guys, I'm back. Um, let my switch out camera batteries. Who can last longer, my camera or Stacy talking? Stacy talking wins. <laughs> oh dear Lord, these duffels are are uh, overheating my camera. So, all right, what we have left to show is uh, the newer style of the large duffels, and we'll we'll jump back to uh, my Disney ones. So again. They, uh, what, about a year ago or so, switched up the large duffel um, and made some improvements, took away interior patterns, ugh. And so, this price is still $85. Large duffel 2.0 travel bag. This one is Java Floral. You'll hear me uh, sometimes get uh, confused. I'm not confused, but just misspeak java blue java floral i'll call this java blue because it does make sense and i'll call java blue java floral because that makes sense too um but this is a very uh similar color scheme the colors are super similar but you've got a different floral pattern not as intricate as java blue good or bad um java florals works i think you can dress it up or dress it down great goes great with denim you can see the shirt i have on now i had somebody ask me uh, what the shirt is. It's Lucky Brand. It's Lucky. Um, I love Lucky Brand. And I think the, um, uh, uh, their, I don't call it, sizing is pretty flattering on me. So anyway, I love Lucky. And this goes well with that. Um, now you've got your, uh, front zippered pocket, whereas you didn't have that with the old large duffel. And then, you still have your interior, or not interior, your exterior slip-in pocket there on the on the um, uh, side, one side, not both, just one. Ooh, got a little string there. Yeah, it got away from those interior patterns. It's quilted, but it's that nylon. Ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. However, I do like the added feature of three interior mesh pockets. Can I try to show it here? Um, I think that really works well because this is a travel bag. You've got a lot of stuff going on. I think it's a good place to put accessories, shoes, um, just a good spot for that. So they did bring, they did add some really needed, wanted features to this bag. But man, I took away that interior pattern. Ah! <sighs> so, that's Java Floral. Then I have uh, Northern Stripes. Of course, there's Northern Lights, then you have Northern Stripes. And I like Northern Stripes because you've got a lot going on in this this pattern. You've got your florals, you've got your stripes. You've got um, these little arches, uh, can, eyelets, something like that that's called. You've got polka dots. Um, it's a good... Uh, pattern for Valentine's Day with your red, or your your red, your pink, uh, going on there. And of course, I didn't bring, mention this in the job before, but you've got this Vera Bradley name tag there too. And this, this, um, was the last pattern series that had the old Vera Bradley logo in it. But again, there, black, blah. Interior pattern, northern stripes. This is painted feathers. I'm not a huge yellow person, but I absolutely love this shade of purple and painted feathers. Love it, love it, love it. I just, ah, uh, if I could have a pattern with more of this in it, um, I'd be like, step aside, painted feathers. <laughs> we got this going on. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, kind of an 80s feel to me, this pattern. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why it, it makes me think of that, especially that color scheme. It's not really 80s, but the pattern itself reminds me of 80s. And there is that. I'm trying to keep these a little bit folded up. Also, these are noisy. That interior patterns. These are noisy bags. Blush pink. Very cute. Very feminine pattern. Um... And you've got your nice little florals there. Fantastic spring and uh, summer, summer, summer pattern here. Um, with that bubblegum pink. So cute. I think that shows so well on the camera. Some of these are a little dark. It's like, eh, this is going to show well. This shows well. 
And there's that bubblegum pink pattern, or interior there. And that is a blush pink. And then I have Nomadic Floral. Um, I love the color scheme on this, the greens and the grays. It just think it works really well. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Lemon Parfait. Um, that wasn't one that I really cared for a lot in the beginning until I really understood how well it, sh it hid dirt because I used it to take the gym a lot. And um, out in California, we didn't have to wash our car that much. Obviously, there was the drought. And then, you know, you didn't have rain for a long time, so your cars would get dusty. It wouldn't rust as easy, but they did get dusty. And so, um, you know, brushing up against that, it was okay. I really like the pattern in this with um, the, the fan shape and the florals there. Just a cute pattern. And then... There is the interior coordinated gray pattern there. So, really like that. Now, it does have an interior pattern. Uh, nomadic petals. Um, that you can find, like, pajamas in. And I've got the extra large throw. It's the only throw that I have that has that pilling. But I do have that. So, that is nomadic floral. Now, let's look at the Disney stuff. Alright. Disney. Disney! Disney! Stacy can't sing Disney! Disney! And gets Disney. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm not doing this in particular order. Um, I'm just showing you, but this, uh, plums up. Mickey has that, um, that, that new style with the zipper pocket. These two, uh, the medallions and the uh, plums up Mickey both have it. I really like this pattern. And it, ha it doesn't have it in here. There you can see the purple. But you can get pieces in the coordinated uh, plums up that purple. I have a trifold wallet in it. And you can get the zip ID case and the lanyard. Um, and that gorgeous purple interior pattern. It's so pretty. Um... I, I just love that shade of purple. It's one of those shades of purple that you don't realize that you love so much until you see it. It's like, wow, that's amazing. So, um, and it's it's this color right here, this lighter purple right here. Um, but the don't fret if you get a smaller piece and the Mickeys are like upside down or the Minis are upside down. It's a very whimsical pattern. So this pattern kind of goes all over the place. Um, so you may have sideways Mickeys and front ways Mickey's and every other sideways Mickey's and that's okay here's one upside down there and that's okay that's the way it's supposed to be um so that's plums up Mickey I really like that pattern even though it's a lighter based pattern I'm not a huge fan of uh, in the fabric add that addendum there after my lighten up experience but um yeah what was that um I, I think it's a really cute pattern. Then you got this really dark. Me, gosh, does it say on here? No, it's a Disney tag. Disney bags retail for ninety nine dollars. Um, but I really like this pattern. Um, the Mickey's medallions. It's like Minnie and Mickey Mouse medallions. It's very long. It's got the word medallions in it, and it's a really cute pattern. <laughs> Loud. Got that ugh, interior there. But I really like the color scheme in this pattern. I think it, it's, it, it keeps it from going too dark with the pinks and the teals um, and the blues in it. And just uh, the shade of blue in these little dots here kind of reminds me of the interior of Kia Paisley. But so cute. Oh, I just love all the colors within the pattern. And you've got this dark background. I just think it really pops. And every I forget how much I love this pattern until I, like, I really see it or I have it in my hands. Wow. And it's so subtle. If you love Disney and Mickey, but you're not like, I need all things Disney. This is a good one because it's very subtle with the Mickeys. With the little Mickey heads. It's not Disney, but it's Disney, you know. Alright, then we have Disney Dreaming. Now, the, the, the rumor swirled with this bag that this was going to be uh, the sister pattern to Midnight Blues. 
which is not. Uh, you know, you've got your perfect petals, your flower shower, your clementine, your bouncing bouquet. Disney Dreaming is its own pattern. And it's got smaller, it has smaller Minis and Mickeys compared to like the Midnight with Mickey, which I don't have the large stuff on that. <laughs> but, um, so your pattern placement on your smaller pieces are going to be better because those are smaller. Um, but there, you, now we're back to the older style and you have your fabric lining with little Mickey heads on it. So cute. And Minnie and Mickey are both on this bag. So, love Disney Dreaming. This is another one. I had high hopes that they would bring out a throw-in. Oh man, I was already like at my computer ready to buy a throw in this because they did the Midnight with Mickey throw. I got it. Me and I wanted a throw in this. I have it Lola. Lola is the sister pattern to Where's Mickey. Um, of course, Where's Mickey is in the blues and the greens color scheme where Lola has the black or the brown background with all the different colors in it. But it's a, another very subtle Mickey pattern. And there you go. Seafoam green Mickey. That was the hot thing to find. There's not a lot of seafoam green Mickeys um, on this pattern. So to find a great placement of seafoam green Mickey was like the thing to find <laughs> with this. And I do have several pieces. If you see my Where's Mickey video um, with showing that collection, you'll see that I have several pieces with great placement on it. It was back when we used to live near Disneyland, so I could pick it out. Um, whereas if you ordered online, it was kind of a crapshoot what you were going to get. And there's that interior. Again, subtle Mickey heads there. But you've got just the Mickey silhouettes in this pattern in different colors. You've got your seafoam green there. No, there's other ones around here. You've got your Mickey heads in there. And watch, I didn't get a lot of other colors because I was like, seafoam green, I must have it. I had a seafoam green um, bedroom when I was... In middle school, my freshman year, one of the houses we moved like every few years. Here, that's kind of a reverse. Here, you've got the white f flower and then the silhouette is in that blue background. So cute, very subtle. This is Mickey meets Birdie. Birdie is the nickname for Barbara Bradley Backgard, who is the co-founder of Vera Bradley. So this pattern is after her uh, nickname, and it has birds in it. Um, I just set off one of my kids' toys with the duffel bag. <laughs> I can get rid of some of these toys. Um, yeah, again, another very subtle Mickey pattern there uh, with the heads, and then you've got your birds going on. So if you love animal prints, this could be a good one for you. And there's your interior pattern of it. My last one, one I didn't care for in the beginning, but I fell in love with, not because of the color, Although it is my daughter's favorite color. But I love the style of the Minis and Mickeys in this bag. I love the older vintage um, Minnie and Mickey Mouses. And this pattern is the only pattern that has that. As you can see there. And I love that. I love, love, love just mousing around. That's what it's called. Just mousing around. And, and another pattern. This pattern actually has the characters in it too. Um... Is it the, yeah, it's the only interior, only pattern that has an interior with the characters in it. It's just almost as cute as the outside. It's just, oh, love this. So I picked this up at a later date. Um, I don't have a ton of, of just mousing around, but I fell in love with it. Um, but it retired fairly quickly. They brought it and Midnight with Mickey out at the beginning. Just bam, bam very close to each other. And then this one got retired really quickly in Midnight with Mickey Sword and Popularity. So, yeah. Uh, and it's just very whimsical and got vintage. Okay. Alright, so that is my massive large duffel collection. No, I don't have a Heather one. I know. Shocking. Um, I should. Maybe one day I'll get one. Um, kind of like to have Midnight with Mickey one too. But, um, don't you think I have enough? No. <laughs> now watch that face I made will be the YouTube thumbnail that they use on my screenshots. I swear they, they the looks on my face <laughs> that they use for those. I gotta catch up on my thumbnail pictures. Oh, so far behind on that. 
Anyway, that is my massive Vera Bradley large duffel collection. I'm glad I got it done. I just, I've been wanting, wanting to do it, but it's, there's so much to show. <laughs> you thought I was done. I'm not. So, um, yeah, if uh, you want to check out my other Vera Bradley videos, that'd be great. I do some other purses too. Uh, Michael Kors and uh, Dooney and Burke. I got Lucky gonna happen here soon. Got my shirt going on. Gotta have the purse. Um, so we got that going on. Do stuff with my videos. Unboxing videos. I just shot another Stitch Fix video. Um, lots of fun with those. I love it. It's like Christmas when I get the Stitch Fix video uh, box in the mail. Um, but if you want to check me out on other forms of social media. And subscribe to The Amazing Shopper here on YouTube. I'm also on Twitter. Amazing underscore shopper. Um... Uh, Instagram, The Amazing Shopper, on um, Facebook, The Amazing Shopper. I've got my blog going on, which you can find a link down to below. You can find a link down below to other Vera Bradley products if you want to purchase those. Um, lots of fun stuff going on with this channel. So I hope you subscribe and, and check all that out. Got a lot going on. Um, and it's it's been a lot of fun. We've been going on for a few months now. And it's, it's taken off a little more than what I thought it would. <laughs> I appreciate that, you guys. So, I love talking to you. Please leave me comments down below. I love to chat with you about your large duffels and about your, your bags in general. Um, you know that I do. You can always message me on Facebook if you have any questions. I've um, been talking to a lot of you through that. Um, Instagram, some, but definitely Facebook. So, lots of fun stuff going on. Alright, if you want to check me out, subscribe to my channel, The Amazing Shopper. Uh, that'd be great, and I will talk to you later. Bye.